at the equipment that we've got, uh, it actually tells you the voltages. They require specialist equipment and a different way of working. At this training facility at West Midlands College in Wolverhampton, students are being taught about the complex world of electric vehicles as the government pushes for us all to go green. But with more electric vehicles on the road, we'll need more mechanics to fix them, which is why Sundeep Birdie, who used to work in a bakery, has had a change of career. Knowing that uh, in, in uh, production, uh, vehicle production, uh, uh, they're going to stop produ producing uh, petrol and diesel cars. Um, so I thought I'd uh, concentrate more on uh, electric vehicles. Turn that completely around to the right. But some students at the college are already fully qualified and want to upskill due to an increase in customers with electric cars. We are seeing a vast increase. We see them on a daily basis now from all sorts of things, from body repair, we have to see them through service MO2, so they are, they are there and I don't feel that we should have anything in our workshop that we're not capable of working on and understanding. But only 6% of mechanics in the UK are currently trained to work on these vehicles, a figure that worries those in the industry. Every manufacturer is bringing out more and more pure EV ranges and, and the skills are the most important part to help us with that infrastructure. If we don't accelerate the training, we're going to end up with a huge shortfall of skilled technicians that, that should be therefore upskilled and reskilled by programmes like this. And for those who run garages, having employees with the right skills is essential for future business. Electric vehicles are going to be quite complicated, different completely from the mechanical vehicles historically that we've worked on. Uh, it's a, a new type of technology. The college has trained more than 250 mechanics so far but says as we embrace green technologies further, there'll be a pressing need for more. Catherine Nash, Five News, Wolverhampton.